Our next topic is flow carrying up their internet rates. And who reported that? This is the Guardian sharing. Um, yeah, Andrea Perez Sobas, not see. Uh, uh, everybody's a senior reporter on the Guardian. Oh, I know. Yeah. Um, Come the first of next month, flow customers will face an increase in their monthly cable and internet package of 4%. This was announced by a telecommunications company yesterday. It said uh, this price adjustment will allow flow to continue to invest in its network and other unnecessary imp- improvements needed to meet the ex- needed to meet and exceed customer expectations. So here's a change. Collected premium bundle was $516 and now $537. That's what $30 increase. 30 something, 35 dollars, yeah. Choice 300 bundle was, is now 408. Was 408, will be 425. That's going up by about 20 dollars. They are about 15 to 20. Bundle 75 is 305 and it's expected to increase to 317. So let me say, you know, 20 to 30 dollars. It should go up. Um, Heavy, 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 heavy funny part. Guardian Media reached out to Digicel Plus to inquire if it was moving in a similar direction. In response, the company said, we constantly evaluate our product offering given the changes in the market conditions and that we will be making some adjustments to our packages where some customers would even see some reductions in their packages and others would see revised pricing models in the coming weeks. Digicel will release more information on this. <laughs> Talk about you know somebody from Digicel called me like two weeks ago trying to get me to upgrade my plan, you know, and so my plan is like three hundred and this new upgrade, you know, I'd I'd dub like I'd get like a hundred megabits megabits more or two hundred, I'd get three hundred, and it would, you know, my bill would go up to like like six hundred dollars or something. So I was like, no, wow, <laughs> you know, they, they were trying to tell me, you know. Well, it will help you do your work faster. Because I tell them I must work from home. <laughs> and my mind, how the, how the hell is going to make me do my work faster? How yeah. high I tell that speed good and make me do my work faster? I mean, the person a real child to sell it. I'm a real child. I tell them they could train Disney Plus and whatever. You know, if I don't want to upgrade the speed, I, I could get Disney Plus for extra hundred dollars a month or something like that. And I was like, um, I st- like I cut off and I was like, um, <laughs> I, I had Disney Plus for a year and I cancelled it because I <laughs> never used to watch it. So, you know, I'm more or uh, yeah, happy with the plan I have now. No need to have it. How much I pay in flow? Boy. What? What? I have. Well, for those of you all who are listening for the first time, I have two internet connections because my um my business requires my internet to be pretty, pretty like. Hundred percent up up time. Yeah, up time hundred percent. So both of them in on their unload balance. So I pay in both digital and flow, but I cannot remember how much money I pay in. I think I pay in three hundred dollars to each of them at the end of the month for internet only. Um, bill amount. Okay, yeah. Was the bill it first or the third? Yeah. Okay, so I pay in two hundred and seventy six to flow. What? You know, I want to I I wanna, wow. I wow. ask you a question. Since he's a flow customer, right? One of the statements they made was, was uh, is to invest in a network and other necessary improvements needed to meet and exceed customers' expectations. So, do they meet and exceed your expectations? <laughs> I, listen, I can't or, tell. Or, wait, I, wait, or, uh-huh. or do they even meet <laughs> expectations? <laughs> I cannot tell you what what my expectation is. I just know my internet had to be up. The mm. only time I know when flow is down is when both of them go down. And I'll be like, y'all, we have no internet. Something is wrong. That means both of them down. But yeah. other than that, I cannot say that they meet my expectations or they don't meet it because I basically put things in place to never let them let me down. Mm-hmm. So... I can't say for sure. I have the everything you need package. I don't know so, what the everything you need package is. What is that? 
So you're more or less cheating on your network. You have a backup plan. You have a backup person. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I like when they have a second bar. When they go by your bar, when they see your barber in the um in the mall yeah. and, you, and, you, and you just get a haircut. <laughs> and you're like, Ooh, you mark yourself. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. Everything you need plan. Oh, I know, I know what to happen to me. They somebody they had to change out my real old, old, old modem. Uh, the old black RS modem, I believe. It's an RS one, anyhow, but black. And they had to change on the new one. And when they change it out, they slide in the Android box to me and tell me, yeah, you could get this for, for free for a year and you won't have to pay. And I ask them, so you already remind me when the year is up, I'll just see my bill go up. And she's like, no, nah, your bill wouldn't go up by much. When it goes up, it will just go up to buy this amount. But now mm-hmm. with this new upgrade, <laughs> with, the, with the raising price here, it's going to go up by more. And I wouldn't know when when that hit me. And I'll just be like, what? But my daughter liked the um, Paramount Plus and... Um, okay. But the Android... No, well, she gave her the operator because she watched out everything that on Paramount Plus, basically. So more than likely, I'll just get her next Android box and put it, in the, um, put it on the next TV. Because that one just had a Chromecast on it and they used to cast on the phone now, but they like the remote yeah, yeah. feeling. They like the remote pressing. Yeah. I don't know what's the every, everything you need package, but that is what I have. And that is actually $276. So my package not going anywhere. Okay, okay. Yeah, I believe you, everything you need is just internet alone with um, VoIP. Well, basically TV, internet TV, basically. So you're not getting all the, you're getting all star channels or something, but all of it is br- bundled through the internet. And I tell them, don't even bother to bring our phone. Like, don't even, <laughs> don't even waste your time. Let me see if I could find it. What package do you have with Digicel? Mm, you want for three hundred and five dollars? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the one I have too, and that's three hundred megabits. Two hundred, I think. I must, I must check my bill. Oh, right. So my everything you need packet. The I pay in two hundred and seventy six, but the everything you need package is four hundred and twenty five dollars. So basically, my in a year's time or six months time, whatever time left. My package gonna go up by almost two hundred dollars, and I then I, that is when I'll tell them, nope, I just want the internet. Do I? I good. Do even? Yeah. So my package is the fiber two hundred. Okay. And I pay three hundred five for that. But yep. why? Why minus three hundred? I don't know. I don't know. I think minus three hundred. You probably have a, like a grandfather type plan. Cause I think more if than, you go on the than. go on digital sites now, this mm-hmm. fiber two hundred is more money. Oh, okay, okay. Understand. Yeah. Understand. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> not like, yeah, not like they were. Okay. But I've seen it on the internet side, they have something called Link Up and Link Up Plus. Is it that they would not? Did they lie to me? Because the 290, anyhow, anyhow, wherever, wherever that I reach, I go reach. The thing I, want to, the thing I want to ask is for, well, for those of all that listening and thing, is the technical. Um, things that are needed for manage, being an ISP these days, they are starting to become a little more um, technically difficult to implement. Meaning, the ISPs have a lot more load management to do because of all of the streaming that are going on. And COVID basically hit them for six. And I think the once they see... Once they see the amount of demand that COVID would have shown that it's possible that the, uh, that, that the internet could get to this this height or this, um, this amount, then they say, okay, people are relying on this thing more. So basically, over the next five years, we're going to increase it by 3%. And, and by the time the five years finish, we'd be up by 25%. And we will get away with it because people need the internet really, really badly. I don't think there's any big technical hullabaloo that going on that says they had to implement new firewalls or they had to do this all that kind of stuff. I think it's just a business plan to do a slow creep, which is get get the get the amount of money up by twenty five percent in five years. That's their that's yeah. their um, target. Part of it too could be like if if it is from a business standpoint and it just adjusting for inflation every year so that your profit could go up and you know match inflation. You know, because at the end of the day, the owners, I'm not sure if you can buy flow shares or whatever, but yeah, they're thinking about profits. Same thing with every other company. Like, 
you said it had Netflix last year, increased their prices. You know, I, sh- I doubt they do much, much technical upgrades or whatever. In fact, they, they released a lot of people last year, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, well, the big the big talk right now is KFC is a price. <laughs> and well, um, well, well, well. Yeah, you know, but, yeah. That, that and is... I mean, prest- <laughs> prestige holdings make, what, 50 cent percent increase in profit? <laughs> you know, so... I mean, at the end of the day, you're thinking about the shareholders. I think some of them mentioned that, you know, the, the reason the uh, minimum wage, you know, is the reason why they increase any prices. And I guess, in a sense, they, 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 could, they could have more than absorbed our costs, you know, but they decide, like, yeah, we... Why, okay, that. why 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 they could have absorbed the costs? Let me hear, let me hear why you think they could have absorbed the costs. 57% profit. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but as a business, so I, they don't you know, deserve to have fifty-seven percent profit. No, I, I just, I, I just saying, if they were, I mean, most businesses don't think like that. I mean, you know, so they they could have still up, they could absorb the costs and be like, well, forty percent profit. But if you ask somebody how much profit you had, I make fifty fifty-seven percent or forty percent, and you know, let the public pay pay less money for your product. You'll be like, no, let them pay more. I mean, I want more profit. I want to make more money. Mm-hmm. You know, you run in your own business like that. You know, don't think about KFC and whatever prestige children, but you yourself run in your own personal business and you had the opportunity to raise your prices. And the public will probably just, you know, Chinese after two, three weeks, you know, you'll quarrel and you'll talk and whatever after two, three weeks, you like my KFC will be long again. Yeah, well, the demand there, and for the internet, the demand is yeah. there. The demand. People might talk like two, two, three weeks or when, whatever, but they're going to pay it. What's the alternative? They might just switch to Digicel, and Digicel might raise the price anyway. Because, <laughs> yeah, they have the unwritten law. <laughs> you know, so. The unwritten law. We do, I, and that's part of. That is kind of the downfall of Trinidad being so small. You don't have much options. And once you have limited options, they could kind of control the prices. But it seems, no, nah, I, well, I'm, I understand what you're saying. But the same thing has happened in the States. When, when AT&T buy over these people and these people buy over that people and, and they basically only have two telecom yeah, providers yeah. eventually. And the US will just be like, yeah, well, yeah, all they do, all they have to do now, we cool. Uh, just make sure they pay, us, pay, pay the taxes. Have you ever tried to order something online using a Visa debit card but you can't? Is shopping online something you always do already using a Skybox but sometimes you need advice on knowing what to buy or what will work? I'm Mr. Charles from Make It Simple TT and we aim to make technologies that solve problems in a Caribbean context. So we created Order It. What is it, you ask? What is Order It? It's an app and a website that helps you order it in two ways. The first way is if you already order things online. You're familiar with using a skybox, you're familiar with using a credit card, but sometimes you don't always have answers to certain questions, like which laptops will get a warranty in Trinidad, which phones will work on the Digicel network or the mobile network. So our app helps you order it. Every product that we list in the app, we will let you know the truth based on the experience of 20 years of ordering things online and using various skyboxes in Trinidad and Tobago. So here are some of the questions that the app answers for you based on the products that we list. What are the taxes? Why does it cost so much when I actually get it? What is dimensional weight? All these questions and more we answer in the app because we want to help you order it. All you have to do is simply pick from our list of recommended items that we know and trust because we've ordered it already. Follow through the payment process, we'll order it and we can even have it delivered to you. So why don't you give it a try? Search for Order It by Make It Simple TT in the App Store or the Google Play Store or you can even go online to orderit.makeitsimplett.com and check and see if we could answer some of your questions and help you in the process of ordering 